And back here at home, medical news making headlines about allergy tests. 30 million Americans believe they have allergies, but a new report today says in reality, maybe only half that do. What is going on? Dr. Richard Besser has been pouring through the study. There's no question that food allergies can be serious matters for some people, causing sudden and life-threatening reactions that can affect a person's ability to breathe. But what about those people who experience mild symptoms in reaction to a food? Nearly 10% of people believe they have food allergies, yet only half of them truly do. We went to one of the country's leaders in food allergy, Dr. Hugh Sampson, to sort this out. How do you know if you have a food allergy? A lot of people out there have been told they have a food allergy when they in fact don't. There are three types of tests you can have to find out if you really have a food allergy. A skin test, the most common test where your skin is pricked with a particle of food to look for a skin reaction. Blood tests, which detect antibodies to a particular food. And a food challenge, which involves introducing small amounts of the food you're suspected of being allergic to and watching to see if you have symptoms. The problem is, half the time, the skin test and the blood test just get it wrong. And Rich, what does this mean about getting retested? Should we all do that? Well, you know, the good news is 85% of children will get over their food allergies over time. So if you're a child, every two years get, get evaluated. Adults, every four to five years. If you didn't have symptoms to begin with and were right. diagnosed with this, be reevaluated now. The important thing is don't challenge yourself with the offending food because you don't know which group you fall into. Yeah, be sure you find out. First. Exactly. Okay, Dr. Richard Besser. And send your questions about food allergies to Dr. Besser. He'll post the answers tomorrow at abcnews.com.